Hi, I'm George, the Weather Dad, and it is going to be very interesting weather-wise over the next couple of days for a lot of us, especially those of us here in the Midwest, Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valleys, and even stretching out into the Central Plains. The situation is setting up just perfect for severe weather. Take a look here on Tuesday, temperature-wise, very warm unstable humid air across most of the central u.s stretching back towards texas we have cooler air up to the north you see the low pressure system there and this is the system that's going to mix the two and cause a lot of problems over the next couple of days by wednesday we're starting to look at that cooler air now pushing its way towards the east and southeast by thursday it makes its way almost all the way to the mid-atlantic region and even down into the gulf coast now keep in mind High temperatures should be well into the 70s across most of this area, but over the next couple of days, starting on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we could be looking at high temperatures in the Ohio Valley in the 50s and 60s, and much cooler than that up into the Great Lakes. Here we are on Friday. You're starting to see a nice little warm up to the west, but not here in the uh, eastern half of the country where, again, it's going to be rather chilly. And by Saturday, you see temperatures again pretty much uh, closer to normal, but not there yet, especially up in the northeast. It's going to be very, very chilly. Now, as far as precipitation is concerned, this is where it gets interesting. The system itself is up in the northern plains. You see the big arc of precipitation, and there's going to be some embedded showers and thunderstorms, potentially some severe weather. You're going to have to keep your weather eye out here on Tuesday, especially Tuesday afternoon. Now, the National Weather Service is looking at a slight risk of severe weather in this yellow area, and it's still a, an area marginal in the, in the dark green area. So this is the area that's going to be under the gun on our Tuesday. Now, working our way on into Wednesday, this energy in the central U.S. really gets cranked up. This looks like it's going to be more of a Wednesday afternoon event for the Ohio Valley. But those of you back in Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, that's going to be a, a midday event for you on, on your Wednesday. And even some more strong thunderstorms up in Minnesota. The National Weather Service is looking at a very large area of enhanced severe weather potential. So what does that mean? Strong gusty thunderstorms, lots of rainfall. We could be looking at some localized flooding and there could be an area where we could see a tornado outbreak. So we're gonna have to keep our eye here on our Wednesday. Now by Thursday, the system weakens a little bit. You still see some very heavy rain, strong thunderstorms up in this corridor. You see a lot of wind now all around this system as well. By um, Friday, that system now starts working its way up into the northeast. Once again, it's starting to weaken a little bit, but there's going to be some cooler air in place here in the central U.S. And with the sun now being fairly intense with cooler air, this is going to be more of, a, I think, an afternoon type of situation, not only on Friday, but I'll show you Saturday as well as on Sunday. So what, is, what, do, what do I mean? Instability showers. So the mornings are going to be fairly dry, but by the afternoon, the sun's going to be cooking the atmosphere. And uh, with the cooler temperatures around, we will be seeing some showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms. Here on Saturday, it starts to show up here across the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley, stretching down into the Tennessee Valley. And even on Sunday, with the cooler air in place. Once again, I think high temperatures, 50s and 60s in this area where we should be well into the 70s and a pocket of severe weather potentially developing right around Houston and around the Gulf Coast. So there you have it. Stay tuned to the National Weather Service over the next couple of days for those of us here in the central U.S. for any watches and warnings that might be posted. I'm George, the Weather Dad.